Hey, this is Ashley from Grateful Art. Today I want to show you how to draw feathers. One of my biggest struggles with creating art is having enough time to create it. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to make it quick and easy to create a beautiful art piece. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. We have weekly videos and I would love to have you join us. Let's get going, shall we? So grab yourself some paper. So the smaller the paper, the faster that you will be able to complete your feather. So I recommend starting with a pencil if you're not steady with your lines. And then we will go over the pencil marks with the marker. You're gonna want a black permanent pen that has a fine point. So you can grab a Sharpie that has a fine point or a micron pen, which are very popular. And you're gonna look for the 08 or the 05 size right here. And you just need one of these, so just pick one. So let's start out with our first line. It's going to be a curved line that comes up to here. So we're gonna draw a curved line. And we're gonna leave some space right here and let this curl around, okay? And then we're going to take this bottom here and we're going to point it. And then this line is going to be parallel pretty much to this line for a little distance here. But then it's going to come in and become thinner as you go up. Take your time with this step. And then you can always erase this line or go over it to make it a better line. All right, and then once you have that, you're gonna wanna split this end. And you can be creative with this step and do things that are different or you can follow me. So I'm gonna put like a teardrop shape at the end here and then curl that around. And then I'm gonna curl this one coming out and then come back in and then come down like that. And generally you want this to be smaller up here and then you want it to get thicker down here and then come in. So you can kind of give yourself like a little bit of a guideline and then erase it later if you'd like. So I'm going to draw another curl and then another one of these on this other side. see how I need to follow that right there so I'm gonna come out like this and then I'm gonna split this one and let it come and curl around and then come down like that and then I'll split this as far as two different designs that I'll do from that and I'm gonna have this one split off and then follow this down Okay. And I'm going to come up and draw just a line. And then it comes back in. Okay. And then, since I have thick right here, I'm going to obviously make this one thinner because it'll give it more variety. And then I'll just swirl that around. Okay, and I'm just kind of. <laughs> deciding as I go, so it's kind of hard to do and tell you what I'm doing when I'm discovering what I'm doing as I go, but I can follow along. Okay, and then I'm going to come through here and make, I think, I think this needs to be like a larger chunk through here, like a very large chunk. And have this kind of split off like that. Okay. And then I'm going to have this one come up, be really close to that one, and come down like that. 
and then another one come up. Look at that. Okay. And see how this one's so different? I might end up erasing that line. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and then I'm just going to have a line come through here. Follow that like that. Maybe leave that chunk right there. Um, have this come up, go out, and then come and curl. And then through there like that. Okay, and then see how these are all really similar to size, so I want to get a nice big chunk through here. So follow that outer line. Make a nice chunk. Okay, and then usually down through here it's really wispy. And there's several different sizes of wisps. And you can curl, you can not curl. It kind of depends on what you want. I think I'm gonna get make it so that this one's not curled. It gets curlier and curlier. And shorter to so go down like that. And then do that. Let's see. So this right here needs to be finished. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna branch this one out. It's a little longer. And then make a thick one right through here but not end at the same as this. So I'm going to end it in the middle of that. Okay. And then, so we're coming really close to the same here, so I'm just going to do the same type of look. Comes in. Get shorter as we go. And curlier. Curlier. Girl. Okay, so this is the general idea. Now you're going to go over all these lines with your black pen. And you want to get these lines as nice as possible, so take your time. So once you have this portion done, now you just be creative and you add things within each of these sections and you can get ideas on Zentangle or Doodling or you can follow along with what I'm doing, it doesn't matter, but um, feel free to be creative and do what you want. designs the longer it's going to take you to finish this portion so you can do simple things like loops and circles this is going to be super fast just do this If you have something like this with a lot of open space, then you want something that's a little more solid right here. So I'm going to go on the outsides to split this up so that if this is busy in here, it won't compete with this.
If you used a pencil, you can go ahead and erase these lines. And I hope you had fun and you had some nice time to relax and create something. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for weekly art videos. And if you had a good time, give this a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below. You can also go to createfulart.com and share with me your feather. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye!